okay guys welcome back to uh today's episode of my video series now uh in today's video i'm going to be talking about fire alarm system okay uh, i'm on site as you can see so i have an installation to do and this uh, installation is a uh, fire alarm system addressable type of fire alarm system okay so i'm going to be showing you guys first of all i've already cabled this building i'm going to show you guys what i did then i'm going to show you guys my devices i already have all my device here and i'm going to install them today okay uh, but first of all let me explain to you guys what the two different type of fire alarm system that we have okay first of all we have a conventional fire alarm system which is the analog type and we have a addressable fire alarm system which is the digital type okay but in today's video i'm going to be explaining the addressable type okay the difference between the conventional and the addressable is uh the conventional is just uh, an analog type, just plug and play. Okay, you change them in zones to their panel. Okay, the panel has different zones, so you change uh, each of them, each of the smokes down to the panels. Okay, now unlike the addressable, addressable is flexible and uh, it is called digital because it uses digits. Okay, something that you can manipulate the numbers, you can assign addresses to each of the devices. Okay, and uh, Conventional are used for smaller offices. Maybe you have a small office or a small home you want to install fire alarm system. It's advisable we go for conventional, okay? But if you have a, a large place to install fire alarm, alarm system, something like a, a skyscraper, a big company, a big uh, industries, okay? Addressable is, uh, is advisable, okay? Because you can manipulate addressable, give each room uh, their own numbers, okay? address them to what you want them to do okay so that's one of that's one of the main difference between conventional and addressable fire alarm system but like i said today's video is all about addressable okay i have my devices here i have my smoke detectors come down so that you can see so this is the base for my uh, smoke detectors I have the base here. So I have more than 20 plus, uh, uh, okay, let's say like 50 plus devices to install here. Remember, in addressable, you chain all your devices, unlike conventional. So if, if it was conventional, you are going to like uh, loop uh, all the smokes with the brake glass together to the panel, that is one zone, then your bells will come to his own uh, position on the on the panel okay but for addressable we chain both the bells the uh, flashers the brake glass and the smoke detector all of them are being looped together to the panel and return back to the panel okay i'm going to show you guys that in a minute so i have my base this is the base for the smoke detectors i have these gent smoke detectors Okay, I still have them plenty here. I've already installed some in the warehouse. I'm going to show you guys the warehouse. I've already installed some of them here. Okay. So I just came out with fuel today to install. I'm going to install this fuel today. I also have my brake glass. Okay, this is my brake glass. Okay, this kind of brake glass I'm going to install. All of them are Gent products. Okay, these are S4 34800 uh, model of brake glass. So I have this here. I also have my flasher. So I have my flasher here and I have my the bell. Okay, there's a sounder. I have two sounder here.
look, I brought two sounder, <coughs> I brought two flasher, okay? Like I said, I've installed most of them and I still have some that I'll still bring back. I just want to install these ones today, then maybe next time I'll bring uh, the other ones, the remaining ones. And I have my blaster here. So I have two blasters here, okay? This master blaster. So I have two of them, one is here, <coughs> one is here. Okay, uh, the last is my panel. Okay, this uh, addressable type of panel. Okay, uh, this one is very expensive. It looks small, but very, very expensive. Okay, so uh, this is the panel I'm going to use. This one I'm going to install my panel and show them. That's why I'm going to install my panel, okay? So like I said, addressable uh, uh, fire alarm system uh, comes in loop. Like you loop all your devices to uh, the loop zone and uh, it comes back from the last device to the panel, okay? And uh, we have uh, this place for the power. Come down small so that you can see something. <coughs> okay, so... We have here for the power, so here is for the life, here is neutral, and uh, here is life, here is eight, and here is neutral, okay? Then we have the mains fuse here. We also have... Uh, okay, uh, let me talk more on this panel again, okay? Now, come close, let's see this. Now, if you watch here, we have a MA2, and we have a MA1. So this is for the master blaster, this particular... Uh, block here is for the master blaster so I have two master blaster here I'm going to use one here then one here okay so this for the positive uh, this for the negative and this is for the grounding okay so now for the loop remember this is an addressable fire alarm system so is the panel for an addressable fire alarm system now unlike the conventional the for addressable uh, from this uh, loop one, if you watch here, I have L1, zero, V, then ground, okay? Now, from this loop one to the first device, maybe your smoke detector, your bell, or maybe your your brake glass, okay, or whatever. So from here to the first uh, device, which is the first input of uh, your device. Okay, let me show you guys something. I've already done video on this. Uh, I've already done video on how to connect this, but from this loop one here, okay? From this loop one, it's going to come to the end of this uh, uh, smoke detector, okay? Then from the out of this smoke detector to the end of the next device, the next device might be your sounder, okay? So to the end of the next device, okay? Then from the out of this next device to the in of the next device, okay, this is the in, in is L1, out is L2. Then from the out of this to the in of the next device, so depending on how many devices you have, okay, these are... So this is my uh, brake glass. So from the out of this to the in of the brake glass, this is the in of the brake glass. So it's going to come inside here to the in of this. Then from the out of this to the next device. So you, in addressable, you loop as many devices as possible. Okay. I have a video on where I explained this and I even tested it. Okay. So try and watch it, even though the video is uh, somehow, but I, I know you understand something from it. Okay. So. After looping all your devices together, you return from the last device you have, you return back to loop two. Okay, so from the first device 
after looping all the whole devices, depending on how many it is, you now return back to this loop too, all right? This uh, zero V is for the common and this is for the ground. Some of those devices have that. Okay, let me show you guys what I did in this video. I've already finished my piping. I've finished the cabling. I've even mounted some devices and I'm still, uh, I'm still working, okay? So this is where I'm going to mount my panel. So this panel, this is where I'm going to mount this panel. So if you watch, uh, this is my first, this is my outgoing, okay? And this is the return of this uh, uh, a fire alarm system. So this one went out from, I'm going to connect it to L1, and this one will be connected to the L2. This uh, is for my sounder, and this is for the power. So from this L1, from this particular one, it comes down to this first device. So I have my first device here, which is the brake glass, okay? So it came down here from to this brake glass. Then from this brake glass, it went up to this uh, particular one, this one here. Then from the second one, from the second one there, remember, from my panel down to this. Come on again. From my panel, hmm? From the panel it came down to here okay this one then this particular one this particular one returns back to this one you are seeing this first one okay i have one there that is out then there's another one that went in to the next device let's see the next device so another one went uh came out from that device to this device here okay remember i said incoming and outgoing okay so the outgoing of this one looped with this so the outgoing of this one entered the incoming of this then from the outgoing of this to the incoming of this from the outgoing of this to the incoming of this one okay now, from the outgoing of this one to the incoming of uh, this one. So, this is going to be my incoming. I've not, uh, the, this is their control room, so it's still scattered. Everybody's still working, both the electrical guys. So, this is the incoming from the outgoing of that one. Then, from this one, now this is the outgoing of this device here to upstairs. If you watch, it went up. So, let's go up and see what's happened there. So from that uh, control room, from the outgoing of that control room, it came up, this is my pipe, it came up and uh, connected to the incoming of this. Then from the outgoing of this one, it's connected to the incoming of this. So from the outgoing of this one, down straight to this brake glass. From the outgoing of that one, straight to this brake glass, this one here. Okay. Now, from uh, the outgoing of the brake glass, which is this one, to the incoming of uh, this uh, sounder here, then from the outgoing of this sounder to this. Okay. Then from the outgoing of this to here, to the incoming of this device. Then from the outgoing of this device to the warehouse. The warehouse is locked, but uh, let me see if I can show you guys something. So from the outgoing of that last device, it... What is wrong? So from the outgoing of that last device to the, the warehouse, so I have... Uh, there's a brick glass down there, sorry. And there's a sounder also up there. So from the sounder to this first uh, smoke detector we have here. Okay. Uh, from here to the next one. From here to the last one here. 
then from there to this to the next one somewhere here okay then look down I brought it down to this one here from here to here from here to this one then from this one to the brake glass down here there's a brake glass down here then from this brake uh, glass down here it's terminated uh, with the sounder here up here so from this sounder it went back to return back to this panel okay this is my panel so from that sounder it's returned back to the l2 here all right okay guys that is just uh that is just uh the summary of what i did here so i have like uh 20 something start something devices in this building okay so i'm going to continue with my installation uh so as installation is going on i'm going to be uh showing you guys other videos okay remember i have different video on how to connect the smoke detector i have uh, another video on how to connect the brake glass i also have another video on how to connect the bell so try and watch those videos and you understand this thing much better so thank you guys let's continue the installation